Yeah. Homie, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. I'm great. Just protecting my investment. Yeah. Ask about me. Integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this professional welterweight match is set for three rounds at five minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. His record stands at four wins, five losses. His height, six feet, one inch. And his weight, 173.7 pounds. He trains with stars and strikes out of Littlington, North Carolina. Please welcome Robert Gidron. Pam fighting out of more gym red corner. His record stands at one win, two losses. His height, six feet, one inch. His weight, 171.5 pounds. He trains with Vision MMA out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And his name is Perry Sturgill. Fighters, we're going to the rules in the back. You got any questions for me? All right, keep it clean, safe. Good luck. Touch gloves. Get back to the corner. Your referee, when the Robert action begins. Robert Gidron shakes the off the handshake there. He has his feelings hurt maybe over the, the weight cut. Could see it right off some bad blood. Oh, Ooh, hard leg kick straight to the knee to start off this pro fight here. Oh, oh the elbow him. landed for Stargell right away. That was hard. That was a hard strike. You could hear that. Stargell talking there in the cage. Yeah, not, not quite sure what the talk was about. Oh, man. There's a lot of reach here between both guys. Absolutely. Kid runs so long. Stargell just throwing caution to the wind. Stargell throwing some hard punches there. It ends him up with his back against the cage here to start off this fight in round one. Gidron doing a good job with the underhooks here. He's burying his head down the armpit. That's kind of what we call his no man's land. You need to get that head up under the chin and really use it like a third hand. Robert Gidron doing a good job of holding Perry Stargell's back against the cage here. Can be frustrating. Stargell able to pummel a left side underhook. Somebody's bleeding. Oh, Robert Gidron's bleeding bad. We're seeing the oh, effects. Wow. The effects of that elbow right off the bat. I mean, Gidron is dynamic strike right there in the first round. Could play huge factors throughout the rest of this fight. And Perry Stargell's just. Comfortable as ever. Good posture. For the high crotch. Oh. Is he going to finish it? And he does. But Stargell right back up to his feet. How about that? The strength and the technique from Robert Gidron. Robert Gidron back again here with Stargell pressed against the cage in the over under hook battle. Stargell doing a good job of framing that face, creating some space there. Gidron doing everything he can to make Stargell carry all of his weight. And I love that Perry Stargell is just looking back into the corner and talking to his own cage. Nice double unders there, Perry Stargell. Jeremy Pender says, come over here, please. He wants Perry Stargell to use the double underhooks, the body lock, to drag Robert Gidron all the way over into the one more round red corner. Stargell looking for this over underhook battle here. Notice that head control right there. Perry Stargell doing a good job putting that head on the chin, set up a good elbow. Robert Gendron doing a good job of circling out and putting Perry against the cage, though. Oh, he eats another elbow. Stargell is just dicing Gidron up with these elbows, finding ways to sneak them in. Oh, Stargell oh. swing with bad intentions oh. here. And he's staying patient. Not overexerting himself. Robert Gidron trying to time in an explosion from Perry Stargell. I mean, 
he keeps throwing just one strike. He needs to, to pair these strikes up in some combinations to have a little more effectiveness. Perry Stargell is just really dominating this first round and not doing too much, not overexerting himself, not really leaving any room for mistakes. Oh, the hard body kick lands for Perry Stargell. Robert Gidron catches it. Stargell right away pummels. There's that elbow again. Perry Stargell opened up the cut there for Robert Gidron earlier on in this round. Starts with just staying active here. Here we see Gidron bent over at the waist. That, of course, is, is a sign that Gidron is fatigued. Trying to catch some breath here, utilizing the cage pressure to try to catch his breath. You guys separate. You see that blood there on Robert Gidron's face. Perry Sargent just stalking him around the outside of the cage. Yeah, you have to you have to think that Perry Sargent sees blood in the water on Robert Gidron, but he's not going too crazy for it. He knows that there's still a lot of this fight left that he can finish. You cannot count out Robert Gidron in this fight. He's got some heavy hands, and at any point you could eat one. What a first round for Perry Sargent! Absolutely dominant first round for Perry Stargell, and it all kicked off with the elbow right there that you see on the replay right in the opening moments. Big, big lift here from Robert Gidron. Excellent posture, bending at the knees, but Perry Stargell just absolutely right back to his feet. Right back up to his feet. He said, no, I'm good, you know? I'd like to see Robert Gidron let his hands go a little more here in round two. I want to see him, you know, Put some jabs in Perry's face. See what that can open up for him. Absolutely. And Robert Gidron is long, long. But Perry Stargell is thus far doing a great job of moving his head off center, not being a still target, being a very difficult target to hit. And everything he's thrown has been with bad intentions. Bad intentions. This is the second of three rounds for these professional welterweights. These fighters pulling out that jab. Perry Stargell in with a barrage of punches and backs out. Again, Perry Stargell just stalking oh. Gidron around the outside of the cage. The straight left. Oh, this oh, is over. He's so high oh. hands. Gidron's still in this, reaching for a leg, right back to his feet. Oh, how is Gidron still in this fight? Gidron right back to his feet, looking for underhooks. Good frame from Perry Stargell. He's using the frame to slide in. The oh, oh and that landed the body. and buckled him down. Oh, this, this, how is Gidron still in this fight? Perry Referee Stargell George with Connie. some heavy ground and pound. Taking a good close look at this, but Perry Stargell knows that there's blood in the water at this point. It feels like it's only a matter of time that Perry Stargell's maybe looking to put together a highlight here. You know, I think everybody in here sees the blood in the water except Robert Gidron. This dude is still in this fight. Absolutely he is. I mean, been dropped twice in the first He's minute of the second He's round. Up. Oh! Un unintelligent that. defense. I see a stoppage coming. Yeah, soon. George Conley's talking. Still battling. Robert Gidron's still battling, but he's taking a lot of punishment right now. Yeah, from Perry this is not intelligent defense from Robert Gidron. Uh, Perry Stargell on his back with both hooks in, just content to rain down on yeah. the side of Robert Gidron. Robert Gidron's going to go out on his shield. I'm not sure how much more of this he needs to take. Right there it is. Good the stoppage. Steps Great in. stoppage. Stops that fight just uh, over three what minutes. A performance left. from Perry Stargell. Absolutely dominant performance. And it all kicked off with the standing elbow to start the fight. What a dominant performance. Beautiful display.
by a striking. Everything that came from his hands had bad intentions, like we said before, and it paid off for him tonight. Just mean as hell is Perry <laughs> Stargell. The knees, and here you see Robert Gidron fading. I mean, this is uh, this is a minute and a half of of Robert. Gidron Look at this. Robert fading. Gidron though was still in it, still battling back to his feet. How many times did he take tons of damage, end up back on his feet? And still fighting in this to give us an excellent show tonight. The heart from Robert Gidron. We're going to go to ring announcer Lance Green for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 51 seconds into round two. Referee George Connolly has called a stop to this bout. Your winner by TKO due to strikes. Perry! What an impressive performance from both of these professional welterweights. All the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. They were same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one. 